Good morning, collectives, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, so what I like to do is to go on and just give you another sports prediction today, and we're going to review the Eagles or discuss the Eagles versus the Giants. Okay, we realize that the Eagles has won 11 wins in a row, ladies and gentlemen. That's remarkable. So, let's see if the Eagles are going to win 12 wins today against the fierce competition of the Giants here. Okay? So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will be using today my Martin Witch Tarot deck. Okay? And... If you guys like this reading, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to submit your, uh, your comments as I like to see them, okay? So let's go on and just shuffle up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to shuffle up, and we're not going to really discuss too many of the specifics here. I'm just simply um, doing a really a yes and no question, and I'm going to explain why. The answer that I um, arrive at will be explained, okay? So, Spirit, who is destined to win this competition today? Will it be the Eagles achieving another win and attaining 12 straight wins? Or will it, in fact be the giants here so as indicated what i'm going to do i'm just going to split this deck into two halves here and then i'm going to, going to discuss the overarching energy for both teams and then we're going to select a few cards and we're just going to determine whether the card is a positive or a negative card and then we're just going to just in the final results here to see who which team is likely to win here so, Spirit, show me who's going to win this competition today. Okay. And I'm going to go on and just divide the deck here. And we're going to start off with the Eagles, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So, let's first examine the cards. Um, I'm going to pull a few cards from the bottom of the deck here just to see what what's the overarching energy uh, for eagles okay we have the five of wands here okay and the five of wands here suggests that this is a yes card but it certainly says that the eagles they're going to be up for a, uh, up against fierce fierce competition and as long as they're willing to fight for it it's quite positive that they're going to win here. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here with this card. All right. That's the bottom card. But we have the moon card here. And of course. Their worry and anxieties. And a lot of different types of disturbances. That they may be having internally. Could in fact get in the way. This is a no card. Okay. And then ladies and gentlemen. We have the higher fonts here. This is a yes card. If they continue to listen to wise counsel, ladies and gentlemen, which might be coming from the coach, Nick, they will be able to, to reach some type of an agreement here. But there is still some conflict inherent because of the number five here shown. Okay. Let's connect another card here. We have the six of pentacles. This is a positive omen here. So it shows certainly they're, they're moving towards making adjustments because that's what six is the number six in numerology represents adjustments change you know establishing equilibrium all right and this is a very good card it shows them receiving or attaining something i'm very successful here let's select this another card here okay oh my goodness we have the five of cups here so this shows that tears are going to be so associated um, with this game here. So then I have to ask myself a question. Is this going to be tears of joy? Or 
just sadness because they've lost this competition. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to select three additional cards from the bottom of the deck just to get gain clarity on what this sadness. And it may not be um, sadness in a way that they have lost. Okay, let's see. We have... We have the Ten of Cups. And lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, we also have the Ten of Pentacles here. And we have the Empress. So this doesn't seem like it's going to be tears of sadness here. It's going to be tears of joy. So it looks like just looking at the overarching energy as represented with the Eagles, it looks very, very positive here. Okay, so let's look at the cards as to whether yes cards or no cards. This five of cups, of course, is no. The ten of cups is yes. The empress is yes. The ten of pentacles is yes. The six of pentacles is yes. The higher font is yes. The moon is no, ladies and gentlemen, and the five is yes. So out of all of those cards, there's only one no card that's represented. Now, let's just get more so into the reading here. I'm going to select five more cards. And again, we're not going to really discuss or address the specifics, too much specifics. But I just want to just look at the cards. I'm going to pull five cards. And we're going to just see whether they're yes or no cards here. Okay, we have the two of pentacles here. That's a yes card. And this shows that, of course, in the past, there were some juggling going on within the team. and Different, all sorts of things that... Might have made them a bit inflexible, but they seem to have defeated or overcome that challenge here. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Emperor. Another yes card. And the Emperor, it's all about leadership, ladies and gentlemen. The, the Eagles are, in fact, prepared to meet the challenge today. Okay? But what might be presented as an obstacle, ladies and gentlemen, we have this Two of Swords. And that's a kind of neutral card it depends they're going to have to remove these blindfolds and work together cohesively but what's hidden ladies and gentlemen a positive omen ace of pentacles ace of pentacles this is a very successful card which is also a yes card and last but not least we have judgment okay that's also a yes card here so just looking at these here is, I mean, you just have one neutral card and these is all yes. And you have one no, okay? Now let's go on and just pull the cards for the giants here and just look at the overarching energy for the bottom. Okay, we have, let me just move these off so that you guys can see these cards that I'm pulling here from the bottom. We have... We have the King of Wands, all right? That shows a lot of leadership that's that's going to be shown by the Giants today. Skillful leadership. That's a yes card. We have that Page of Swords there. That's also, ladies and gentlemen, despite how it looks, it's a yes card because it's a very challenging type card, you know, and gives you the skill to kind of complete a task. We also have the star card, which is appears to be a good omen here. So just pulling these cards, ladies and gentlemen, this is a yes card. I think this is going to be a very tight competition. We have the nine of pentacles, okay? That's also a yes card. It shows success and independence here. And we have... I'm going to select two more cards. And in the end, ladies and gentlemen, we have both the Three of Swords and Four of Swords. So it shows someone is going to be heartbroken. And they're going to have to take a brief, brief respite after having lost this competition. Because I feel that they are, in fact, going to lose, ladies and gentlemen. But I don't feel that it's going to be by an, you know, an extreme large margin. Okay. Now, let's just examine their past here. We have the Four of Pentacles. That's a yes card. You know, it seems like they, they always, they don't want to change. They want to maintain, you know, their same way of doing things. And this might and this might be the reason why it inhibits their ability to succeed in this game. 
Then we have the present, the death card. We have an ending that is about to come about, an irrevocable in in ending here. And endings not all they're not always negative, ladies and gentlemen. It's just change they it tells them that they're gonna have to embrace a new way, and that's a no card. Obstacle here is strength. It seems that it's gonna be a lot of worrying kind of surrounding them, and it's hard for them to trust. They've lost trust. It shows weakness, a lack of, of confidence, and a lot of arrogance being displayed by this team, okay? Let's look at what's hidden. We have the Knight of Wands. That's also a yes card. It shows brute force here I'm getting, okay? And let's look at the outcome. Six of Swords. This shows, although it sh it is this, unfortunately, at times, it sometimes appears that it can be a yes card, but it is actually a no card here because it shows a, a loss, right? And it shows them kind of moving, going home kind of sad in some sense. But, you know, I still think that they're going to have a remarkable year despite, you know, losing this game here. And we see the sadness, ladies and gentlemen, here in this three of swords here with the bottom energy. So to answer the question here, based on my analysis, okay, the Eagles are going to win. But this will be a very, very challenging match, I feel. The Eagles will certainly have to work hard to achieve the results that they want. And I feel that, you know, with the Empress kind of representing um, their present situation, it shows good fortune around them, the emperors and the emperor. It also shows, ladies and gentlemen, that I feel that the eagles have really mapped out creative ways to outwit the giants, okay? I'm getting a strong impression that while the eagles might be struggling with like negative thoughts and agreement with some team members, including the coach, I feel the team really, it seems that they have now embrace its, you know, their shadow. And thus, I feel that they are going to be assuming a wait and see approach to see what could happen. And I feel that I'm kind of getting a strong sense that someone's ego is being challenged here, will be challenged with this team. I feel that one team member might even want to take more credit here. And it could just possibly be Hertz or, or Smith. Okay, we'll have to see. And with that eight of, ace of pentacles there, it kind of shows a breakthrough coming towards them. A winning, ladies and gentlemen. It shows comfort. Okay, I'm getting a strong indication here. Okay, that, you know, the judgment here shows that the Eagles definitely have the Midas touch. Things are going to turn in their favor. Okay, new opportunities, new life. It's certainly a welcome transition, okay, for the better. So with that said, it's clear to me that the Eagles are going to be the victor. So let's go on and just try to, I'm going to try to take a, a stab in this intuitively to see if I can connect with the margin of the win here. So Spirit, I'm asking you to show me what will be the margin here in terms of the points, okay? What will be the margin, um, Spirit? What will be the margin? Okay, of when. I'm getting a strong in indication, ladies and gentlemen, that it looks like it's going to be a, I'm kind of getting a two to five point lead here. I'm, I'm kind of seeing here. So let's just see if it's right here. Of course, you know, the game is coming on shortly. So um, please remember to uh, submit your comments, subscribe if you've yet to subscribe and give this reading a big thumbs up. Thanks a lot for doing it. If anyone wishes to have a more personalized reading, you can definitely schedule an appointment um, by accessing my website and scheduling there or just sending me over an email. All right. Enjoy your day.